Hello fashion sellers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And in my outfits of the week, I wear garments that I have designed, drafted pattern, and also sewn. Included in that, I wear items that I've also refashioned, including high street clothing. And if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. And let's get started. I'm doing something different this week. I am challenging myself to just wear black and white all week. Black and white all week. I haven't done this before. I've never worn the same colour scheme for a whole week. I've always introduced, the most I've probably gone is probably two, perhaps three days, but that's max. To go a whole week of just wearing one colour yeah, that's gonna be interesting. So let's see what happens. So it's going to be black and white. And as you can see, I'm wearing a white jacket. And this white jacket, the shoulders, have you seen these shoulders? You can put them Now, I haven't made the jacket. Um, it, it is from a charity shop. And oh, it was so cute. It's just like, oh, I just have to have that jacket. Just look at those sleeves. So yeah, really cute sleeves. So um, this, is, this, is a, this was a good find in this jacket. I just love the sleeves. And um, the shirt, I have refashioned the shirt. I have the video tutorial on that and I put the link in the description. And I'm wearing black pants that I designed, drafted pattern and also so I'll be showing you that shortly. So just turn around so you can see the back of the jacket. And the jewelry that I'm wearing, so I've got my asymmetrical earrings. I'm also wearing rings. I'm also wearing my choker and also a pendant. This used to be an earring, believe it or not. I can't. Yeah, it used to be an earring, which still has it actually. Anyway, yeah, so um, I made it into a pendant. And the jacket, the interesting thing about the jacket is that, apart from um, the sleeves, is the way it more or less fits my body. Pretty, pretty, pretty close fit, pretty good fit. And um, the buttons that are on the sleeve here, these are really cute buttons. But it didn't have the same button on the front of the jacket, it had just a gold button. So the previous owner may have just lost it and just put a gold button on there, but I didn't like that, so I swapped that over and put a black button, which I'll show you in a minute. So, oh, oh, big hair, big hair today. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, swap I, I'm wearing my big hair today. So, yeah. So, here's the button. I do want a shank button because this is a flat button, so there's two holes in here, and I don't want it, I just want it to be flat, a solid button. So I'm gonna have to change that button again, just don't have any in my button collection. So I kept this shirt out of my pants, so it's long, and the so it's just layering really. And I like, I like this is me. This is how I like to wear my shirts. Um, long cuff, it's a turn back cuff. And yeah, I was toying with the idea of turning it back like that, turning it, but it just didn't, it was, see, no, it, it had to be that one, maybe because it's too long, I think. But no, I like it like this, and my rings just peep out whenever I do my hand gestures or anything, so my pants, they have a hip pocket and they're quite old pants as well so yeah i'll be definitely putting one hand in my pocket and my shoes are these i've worn these a couple of times before and yeah let me just show you my bag it's heavy <laughs> clutch so I will be wearing my clutch bag like so, and I will be putting one hand in my pocket so that I can pose. I 
And that is my outfit for today. So yes, another day wearing black and white. Uh, the top is a refashioned top and I do have a video tutorial on how to create these slit sleeves on both. And the skirt is also a pleated skirt and that's why I'll show you in a moment. So I haven't made anything but I've refashioned something so I'm trying to make sure that at least hopefully this week that I've got something that I've either refashioned or something that I've designed and patterned and so I'll show you, let me see. Yeah, I'll show you my skirt and then I'll show you my bag once I've shown you my skirt and the shoes I'm wearing. It's a pleated skirt, white pleated skirt. And I've gone for an asymmetrical look to my outfit. So I've tucked in one side and I pull the skirt down to where my hip bones are here. My waist is about here. So I've pulled it down quite quite a bit. Um, it's elasticated, so it's fine. It's really comfortable. And um, it's got it's got turn back cuffs, but I've got one where I haven't turned it back and one where I have turned it back. And yes, that is how I'll wear it for today. So I've got options. So if I wanted to, I could always pull that one down when I wear it again and have them both down and I'm happy to wear it like that or they both can be cuffed up like so, both to be turned back. But no, I just, I, I want one to be down and one to be up. Just keeping with the asymmetricalness. I know it's not a word <laughs> um, that's happening with my outfit. And the shoes I've got for black shoes and they, they've got a little tie front with tassels on. So there's a little movement in my shoes as that goes with the movement that's in my skirt. And with that, I am going for this crochet textured bag, which has got a short handle. So I will be carrying it like this. I will not be putting it over my shoulder. I just think it looks very elegant being at the full length of my body really. It's almost, yeah, it's at the same level of my skirt. It's a good balance there. That's nice. Yeah. So that is today's outfit. First of all, I want to thank you for your comments, particularly with this new series. Super, super grateful and super happy that you are enjoying it. If you have any comments or you want me to share any tips and I'll do it in, within this episode. So I did have a comment on saying basically don't have confidence to wear what they really want to wear. So what I want to do is share a tip of how to wear what you want to wear. And I'm going to share that at the end of this video. So keep watching for that tip. And the tip will be on a Saturday when I upload, when I do my last outfit and then upload the video, of course. So yeah, keep, keep an eye out for that tip. shirt. It is a refashioned shirt and I do have a video tutorial for this shirt. I'll put that in the description. I'm wearing a crochet top and black slightly cropped pants. And yes, I made the pants. Um, didn't make the crochet top though. Um, what else? Um, I'm wearing a choker and also my pendant and a ring. Uh, I'm using my sunglasses that I'm needing today as a hair accessory. And I've just got that on top of my hair band. And yes, that's it. My shirt seems to be illuminating. Right, I think that's better. So, with this outfit, um, it was a case of the weather. Yeah, it's, it's what it is. Um, but I just wanted to show off the shirt, refashioned shirt, 
have worn this a few times, been about three or four times since making it. But I think I made it about eight months ago, probably about that time. And it's two shirts so that I could get this beautiful peplum effect. Um, and that the back, it also carries through with the theme of the shirt. So I've got this unusual kind of hemline. And that is just the the, uh, the bottom of each of the shirts that enables me to create this kind of hemline. And I put black buttons on, because um, there were white buttons. And that's it. That's all I actually did to refashion this shirt. And I'm just gonna be carrying it with this bag. So I've got a lovely rectangular shape bag. So, and my shoes, I'll just the black shoes I've been showing you these before, I've got the tassel at the front, and that's it. I'm gonna stop doing that. <laughs> I think I'm some kind of gymnast or what? So this is the back. And I've got a little button, a black button that I've kept in there at the back as well. I may as well just give it a little bit of a feature at the back. And as you can see, it's a very full peplum. And the pants are uh, just above my apples. Maybe I could have gone a bit shorter, so I don't know. No, I think it's. I think it's fine. I've got quite a few black pants anyway, so yeah, that's okay. And moving between the pants and the top, go well together. And yeah, that's my black and out white outfit for today. The shirt I have refashioned, the pants I have designed, pattern drafted and sewn and that is what I'm wearing today. Um, the trim that's on this shirt is lace, so I've put lace on the cuffs, the pockets and also the collar. It's kind of a, a cropped shirt. The bottom of this shirt was added to the shirt that I wore yesterday. So yeah, making sure I use everything when I refashion any of my garments. So it's um, buttoned all the way up to the top, the top button, just so to give it a kind of neat, clean, crisp look to the outfit. The pants are high waisted. So I have belted it in. One of the reasons why I have belted it in is because the top is looks a bit how can I describe it? It looks a bit too short. Yeah, it's probably the best way to describe it, even though I've got high-waisted pants. So it looks even shorter even with the belt, but the belt just complements the outfit if that makes sense. So um, I'm happy with the way it looks. I think it looks super cute. And I'm so happy with the fact that I'm wearing all of my refashioned garments, mainly all shirts. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And it's getting a lot of wear. So this is the black and white. Um, so far, wearing black and white all this week. No, I, 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 I'm not sure in this colour. I may have missed put in um, on a couple of outfits that were a bit more colourful. But generally speaking, no, I haven't. Um, I don't know whether I'm kind of totally focused on making sure that I wear black and white all this week. But um, no, um, would it be something I'd do again? Yeah, maybe even for a longer period of time. Well, no, it's, it's quite fun wearing just two colours in, for a week. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I've got my ankle boots on and I'll show you those in a moment. So I'm actually going to all the accessories, let me just show my accessories. So I've just got asymmetrical earrings and then that's all at the top. And I'm going to be wearing these glasses. And they are a black frame with 
like arms. And I can see the vision through these are pretty good for wearing in, in, in mm, autumn. <laughs> you can call it, yeah. Um, so the vision's good, yeah. Um, you know, obviously after a day, put it on the top of my head and wear it as a hair accessory, so that's not a problem. And the bag is going to be this bag here. It's a small black bag. And that means my outfit is complete for today. So the pants are, they don't have any pockets, they're just bootleg pants, a bit of bell shaping going on towards the bottom of the pants. And my boots, ankle boots, like I said. And that completes the outfit here. Really. That's a, a sleek, lean look to my outfit today. A long black cardigan with fitted sleeves. I'm wearing a pole neck. Yes, I'm layering up. And I have a white suit on, so it's an off neck top with wide leg pants, which I'll show you detail at the bottom in a moment. It has little details of side seams of these pants. Um, it has black buttons and it comes just below my waist here. Yeah. And I belted it in with this belt. This isn't the same belt that I wore yesterday. That belt was a bit more stretchy than this one. It's more textured. So yeah, so it's a top and pants. I've made it, I've the design, pattern drafted, and sewn the white suit and the pole neck. I didn't and the long collar. I did not. I'm wearing my glasses <laughs> with a black face on my arms. These are the ones I wore yesterday as well. Yeah, and the same bag, just kept with the same accessories. So, wide leg pants with these little black motifs on each side. Cover my shoes, and the only disadvantage with wrapping, with having wide leg pants up, <laughs> they get very dirty, cuddly, don't they? So yeah, but they're so elegant, and I do like wide leg pants. And then that's a good proportion to my outfit as well, and the cardigan comes just below, below the knee level. Yeah, I'm happy with that book. It's going to keep me nice and warm today. My final outfit of the week. I'm wearing just black and white. The blouse is a blouse that I have designed, definitely pattern and also sewn. So I've got these amazing sleeves and a bow detail, a tie. It goes around my waist twice and I tie in a beautiful bow like this. There's no button fastening on the front of this, so what's keeping it in place is actually the way I've tied it around my waistline. And I am wearing a pleated skirt. Yes, I've got big pleated skirts at the moment. Wearing my pleated skirts and they they flow and they add a lot of elegance and femininity to garments that I just find. Um, how can I put it? I was going to say feminine, but yeah, of course. And yeah, they add an elegance and a bit of elegance to any wardrobe, I would say. So if, if, if you're looking for items to feminize, I know this is a word, to give a little bit more femininity to your wardrobe, pleated skirts and bows are probably one of the ways in which to go to add a little bit of softness to your wardrobe if you're finding that it is very 
masculine and it's very structured then you know adding these kind of elements to it can soften the look of your of your clothing so yes I'll show you my skirt so the blouse is transparent and the bow detail and I'll just show you the back again so I've kind of gathered the back myself I haven't, there's no gathers in the back of the blouse. I've just kind of allowed the belt to give me a little bit of gathering towards the back. So there's a little bit of, you know, added structure and softness at the same time to the back of the blouse. And yeah, the skirt, which will just dance around. <laughs> You walk so it just adds that other dimension of movement to your garment, and that's what pleats do as long as it's in the right type of fabric as well. And my footwear, these shoes, I've worn these before, I'm sure. So it just goes around my ankles, so that kind of pulls in the detail of the jewelry that I have around my neck which is a choker and the bag is going to be this bag. Now I've mentioned that I was going to share a tip on Saturdays um, and I'll do my best to do that so that I am helping you to you know wear your own clothing the way you want to wear so this tip was mentioned in a comment and it was about having confidence to wear what you want to wear now I know a lot of people suffer from this that they they worry about what other people think whether it's strangers or friends or family and the key to that is to wear something that is removable for example a scarf. If you have a passion for colours and or prints or patterns um, and you're not very confident in wearing those kinds of things, wear it, find that in a scarf and wear that scarf with it showing just a little bit under a blouse, a jacket or a coat. And if you're finding that too many people are staring or making comments, you can always remove it and you know put it in your handbag or or whatever but the key is to remember that it's you that you need to think about when you want to show your confidence in the way you want to dress and one of the key elements to that is to to wear removable items it could be gloves it could be a bag it could be sock it could be stockings or maybe not stockings it could be it could be stockings but the point i'm trying to make is that it should be removable or hidden in some way if you don't feel comfortable at the time that you're getting too many comments or too many stares and that is something that I think I've learned many many years ago is that when I used to get comments about the way I was dressing and people weren't too happy about it it's like this is my world you know I mean if you want to make comments then fine then I have to have the confidence in which to wear what I wanted to wear and then make sure whatever anybody was saying would go in one ear and out of the other and so that is one tip I personally think would help anybody who wants to build their confidence in wearing what they want to wear. It could also be added to garments as well, that if you find that you want to wear a particular style of garments, whether it's a top or a blouse, you know, cover it up with a jacket. And then when you feel confident enough to take off the jacket or coat or cardigan, then do so. And if you are not being so confident, just put it back on so it's well hidden. And you may find that someone may actually notice that you are adding certain elements and they may think, oh, that looks very nice, you should wear it more often. Then hopefully that will build your confidence to wear it as is without having to hide it. But to begin with, hide it or remove it. Hope that tip, hope that tip helps. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you enjoy my what I wear during the week, please give it a thumbs up 
please do share and I will see you next time.